Uh, the first thing, and you, you can use this space as well. First, take a big deep breath in through your nose and out your mouth. Gee, it's funny, Emily. From my window up there, I can just see your head nights when you're doing your homework over in your room. Why, can you? You certainly do stick to it, Emily. I don't see how you can sit still that long. I guess you like school. Well, I always feel like it's something you have to go through. Objective is what you want, okay? The motivation is why you want it, okay? Why did he want to sell instruments? A lot of money, right? And what was his obstacle? Right? Your obstacle is who or what is in your way of reaching your objective, okay? So, today we're going to talk about those big three quite a bit in order to get us to a point where we can start really thinking about what it means to, to put a, a good audition together, okay? Now, it just means a lot of things we do, okay? You guys obviously know this. You seem like bright young people. This is good. But, also, another thing that you don't want to do is this plastic thing. Hi. My name is Rebecca, and um, yes, I'm, I'm wonderful, and I'm ready, you know? It's <laughs> off-putting, okay? And it's false, and it's fake, and it doesn't work on us, okay? It just doesn't, okay? Another thing is... Is it dying? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we'll see that right away, and we'll know that this is... Hello? Hello, I am Julia. What are you reading for today? Emily. Why do you want this role? Because I feel like I can connect to her in some ways. Very good. What ways can you not connect with her? She seems like she's really into school and she's just like, study! Yeah, yeah. And you're not exactly that person. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, remember, any emotion you have at all, if it's not rooted in your objective, it's superfluous. It doesn't work. It's, it's a distraction. Uh, Emily, why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. Well, you've been treating me so funny lately. Well, since you asked, I might as well say it. Oh, Rebecca, there's only room for one at this window. We're spoiling him. Well, let me just look at it. Use your own window. I did, but there's no room there. George, do you know what I think? Do you? I think maybe the moon's getting nearer and nearer, <laughs> and there'll be a big explosion. Rebecca, you don't know anything. If the moon really was getting nearer, the guys, the guys that sit up all night with telescopes, would see it first, and they'd tell about it, and it would be in all the newspapers. Yep. Even on the approach, as she approached George in his room, it was like... Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little mischievous, right? Like, I'm gonna get him, he's not gonna like this. Anymore. 